Michalik, pro shooter for Team Sig Sauer, and today I'm going to answer probably my number one asked question, and that is, why do you hold your gun so weird? So first off, I'm going to kind of show you what a tr more traditional grip is so you can really see the drastic differences in how I hold my gun. So a traditional grip, well a good traditional grip would be up high, um, this, all the fingers will go underneath the trigger guards, thumbs point forward, just like that. Very simple. Um, I shot like that for quite a while and I was at a point in my shooting where I could not control the recoil as much as I wanted. I couldn't go faster and still have good groups. So I started trying new things. And what I ended up with and what I've been shooting for the past three years is, it doesn't really have a name, but we're gonna call it the sloth grip. And pretty much it's two fingers in front of the trigger guard. And a lot of other small things have changed. And what I found with this is because my arms aren't super, you know, in shape, I'm not really strong in the upper body, I needed to find a way to grip the gun and use my bone structure to help with the recoil management. And that's what I found. So pretty much, my hand is still very up high, like in a good traditional grip. These two fingers will come underneath the trigger guard. What that does is it gets my hand, so from here, it gets my hand even higher up on the gun, which obviously helps with recoil control. And what these two fingers actually do is they're not just hanging out up there, they're doing the most work because I can't squeeze hard. What I've done is I use these two fingers as a big hook. And with that, I am actually hooking the trigger guard, pushing extremely hard this way. And then with this hand, I'm pushing here. So I have side to side pressure that I can create very easily with my arms and not with like gripping strength. So. There it is demoed here and here. I've found that it eliminates a lot of muzzle flip with all guns. Um, it does look weird, but remember, the instant that you think you know how to do something is the instant you stop learning. So always be on the lookout to try new things, understand the fundamentals, and see really what works for you. So if you're gonna try this grip, I'm gonna show you what everyone does wrong right off the bat. So traditional grip here. Now if I try to just put my fingers in front of the trigger guard, do you see this? What is gonna happen is as the gun recoils, my fingers will slip off, okay? So your whole hand has to come up higher in order to get your fingers in line with the trigger guard, okay? So if you're gonna try and do it like this, it's not gonna work, your fingers will slip off. Um, different guns allow for better gripping. The uh, X5 is excellent, has a very square, flat trigger guard. You can really hook on it. Um, another thing that I see a lot is just not actually using the fingers. Really hook them, push hard in between your palms. As you can see, I'm already getting red spots on both of my palms where I'm creating a lot of pressure. So try that out. Remember, get those hands up high and really use your arms to, re to control the recoil.